Hi guys, this is Noelle from Noelle Lewis Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make a galaxy butterfly cane. So I started out with making realistic butterflies, more like this one, and then I got into making galaxy stuff like this and I thought it would be fun to combine them. So when I posted a picture of this galaxy butterfly cane in Polymer Clay Tribe on Facebook, a few people asked me about how I made it and I thought it would be a fun thing to do for my next video. So, um, so I'm going to try to keep this pretty simple. Um, the colors I used originally were fuchsia and ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of the white gold glitter, but these actually baked a little bit dark, which I don't know if it's because of how I baked it or because these colors have a little bit of translucent in them but I decided to mix up these two, which are just a little bit lighter. So you can basically use any colors you want that are kind of galaxy themed, but you want to pick something that's dark enough to contrast with the silver glitter, but light enough to contrast with the black. So we're going to start with a simple Skinner blend. So I have these two colors that I've mixed up already. And you, a lot of you guys probably know how to do a Skinner blend. There's a lot of videos out there, but I'm just gonna uh, show you the basics. So I'm cutting it diagonally and I'm going to take the two halves of each one and stack them back together so that it makes a rectangle like this with half of each color. Trying to get that cat hair off. Um, and I'm going off to the side here to run this through my pasta machine. Now I've run it through a couple times so that it's stuck together. I'm going to take a piece of this white gold glitter clay and if you don't have this you can just use loose silver glitter and mix that in. But what I like to do as an easy way to add glitter, let me roll out this silver piece a little bit. Um, I'm just going to take a little strip of this. Actually, you know, I'll go ahead and use the whole thing. Um, and lay this across here. And run it through again. And then as you continue to run your blend through, going in the same direction every time, the glitter is going to get incorporated all the way through both colors. And see that it's starting to mix in more here. I'm not going to make you guys watch this whole process, but uh, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit and show you guys when it's done. Okay, so I'm back with the finished Skinner blend, and what we need to do now is change the shape of this so that we can turn it into a block of clay. So I'm going to start rolling this through the pasta machine going the other way like this and keep folding it in half going to take this and start folding it accordion style into a block. The ends are a little messy here. I'm just going to sort of squish it together when I'm done. All right, so now we have this stack here with the blend going through it this way. So what we want to do now is turn this square shape into 
a butterfly wing or sort of a triangle shape. So we're gonna start squishing it at the top and widening it out at the bottom. Trying to keep the sides neat as we do it. And um, I'm gonna grab my acrylic block just to keep this all sort of flat and neat. want it a little bit shorter this way okay so this is pretty much what we're going for um, so for this next part I watched a video from polymer clay artist on how to do a butterfly cane when I was making my other ones and one thing that I learned from that is how to make a blend that goes all the way through all the wing sections instead of for each one so I'm going to take my curved blade and start slicing. You could do this a couple different ways, maybe look up a picture of a butterfly, but I'm just going to keep it pretty simple for this one and just go kind of make little curved sections going all the way down like that. And then I'm going to take my black clay, roll it through to like a medium thick setting, maybe like a three, I'm not sure if your settings are different. Okay. So how I like to do this is take each section and place it onto my black sheet so I can cut it out and make sure it's just the right size. And once you do that, you're going to place it back onto the block. Continue with the next one. And you're going to keep going like this until you have a black stripe between each section. Well, it looks like my memory card died and we missed a couple steps, but I just did the last couple sections here. And I'm gonna round out the corners just a little bit before I wrap the whole thing in black also. Stretching this a little bit because it wasn't quite wide enough. Okay, so what we're going to do 
is use this piece to also create the bottom wing. So we're going to start reducing it. I don't know how many of you guys make a lot of canes, but when you're reducing, you're basically pushing and pulling on all the sides to make it smaller without distorting the image. Okay, so that's, that's good. And we're gonna cut off about a third of it for the bottom half and go ahead and reduce this one a little bit more so that it's smaller, maybe about half or two thirds the size of the top piece. And I'm continuing to round the corners a little bit as I go. Okay, so that's about the right size. I actually went a little too far, so I'm going to reduce this one down a little bit as well. Um, so for this one that I showed you originally, I had these white dots on the edge here. I don't think I'm gonna do that this time because I want it to be a little bit different, but so I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Um, I took a piece of white clay and wrapped black around it and rolled it out and then I alternated the white pieces with pieces of plain black going all the way down the side and then wrapped in another layer of black. But for this one, I'm just going to wrap it in another layer of black. Okay, so I'm going to use a thicker piece on the end here than on the sides. Actually, probably could have done this before I separated them, but that's okay. Okay, so I've wrapped each piece with one more thin layer and I'm going to trim off the ends and join these together and then we can start reducing the whole thing. to round the corners a little bit more again and then place this one right here so another thing that I learned from polymer clay artist video is the idea of reducing it as one half of the butterfly wing instead of trying to do the whole thing because if you were to do that, you'd either have to do a background or it would be pretty hard to reduce it without a lot of distortion. So this makes it kind of a simple, like almost triangular shape that you can just reduce and then you'll slice the wings separately and place the body on afterwards. So again, I'm just kind of squeezing and pulling. I 
and I'm going to go a little farther than this and come back and show you. Okay, so I'm back with the reduced cane. What I like to do with my cane sometimes is to make a few different sizes so that I can do different items like necklaces or earrings and have a appropriate size for each one. So um, I'm just gonna take a slice, a couple slices off one of these and show you how I would finish it. So you might wanna reshape a little bit where it might've got distorted from reducing it. Like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple slices. And I'm going to use one of my rubber tools to... All right, so uh, my memory card got full and cut out again, but um, all I was doing is using my um, shaping tool to make a little indent in the wings here and kind of reshape it. So uh, here are some of the finished butterflies I've made. Here's a close up of one of them. And you can use these to make jewelry sets or maybe add them to some mixed media art or whatever you want to do. So that's it. Um, I hope everything made sense, but I'm pretty new to making videos. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe. Thanks. See you later. Bye.